Hey guys, it's me, Claudia Velato, Realtor at Coldwell Banker. In the last video, we talked about some reasons why people may want to sell. In this video, I want to go into one of those reasons that is more complicated than meets the eye, space. A lot of times I hear that people need more space. And while that may be true in many cases, that is not always the actual reason why people may want to move. And in fact, thinking that you need more space when in fact that's not the issue is going to leave you perpetually dissatisfied. You'll move into a bigger house and then you'll be dissatisfied and think that you need more space again when that wasn't the issue to begin with. So before you say you need more space, I want you to consider these five different things that could really make a difference to your feeling of spaciousness. Number one, obviously is to do a heavy declutter. I'm not gonna go into the details of how to do that today. It is a lot of work and for many people, a lot of very hard emotional work, but it is well worth it. If you find that you're running out on space, you need to do a really serious inventory and see if you really need every single thing that's in your house or as Marie Kondo would say, does it bring you joy? Um, and so that's number one and that's so super, super important. Number two, I want you to look at your furniture. Almost all furniture that is sold in the United States is giant. It is big, it is bulky, it is heavy. And that can often give us a sense of being cramped when there's actually nothing wrong with the space itself. It's actually the furniture that we have put in it. Some places where you can buy furniture that tends to be lighter and airier um, CB2 and West Elm are really good options, as well as some things online. More modern places and local here, Lacuna Furniture has really airy furniture that does not um, make a space feel heavy. So that's the second thing. Look at your furniture. It's almost certainly just too big and bulky. Number three, look at your furniture placement. A lot of times when we need more space, what we really mean is that we need more flow and things aren't flowing in the right direction or just in a natural direction that matches with our lifestyles. So consider furniture placement. Four, organization. Think vertically. Doors are a perfect example um, for wasted space. You can hang a lot of um, organizational features on doors that will help you um, basically save on floor space and be able to see all your things in one place. And finally, the last one, and this is a big one for me, very near and dear to my heart. Don't think of your house in terms of the square footage of the building. Instead, think about your entire property. That means go through and create outdoor rooms. I cannot tell you how beneficial this has been to my family. We live in a very small house, me, my husband, my son, and our bunnies. We live in an 1100 square foot house, two bedroom, two bath. But we have created so many outdoor rooms that for nine months out of the year, we spend a lot of our time outside. My husband works outside. That's essentially his office um, when it's not freezing or just torrentially raining. Um, so go through the time to think about your outdoor space as an extension of your actual home square footage. Um, of course, there are many cases where you really do need a bigger house. You do need more square footage. Um, but before you say that it's because of space, go through these things and evaluate and see. Because if it's not space, then it might be the second thing that I'm going to talk about in my next video, which is pleasantness. So, um, Watch out for that video. And in the meantime, let me know if you've got questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.